Okay, welcome to this week in uh, Linux Music. Uh, we spent the last couple weeks looking at Seek 24, uh, Hydrogen, Art, uh, AM Synth, and making some sequences, making some songs, uh, figuring out how to how to do that both improvisationally and uh, to record songs. But what fun is all that if you can't uh, make a recording and send it to your friends? So this week we're going to show you how to uh, take all that, feed it into Arter, make a nice recording, and uh, we'll use that recording the next couple of weeks with some other Arter things. But uh, for right now, let's just figure out how to get it, how to get it going, and how to get it recorded. Okay, well, let's get started. Uh, one one thing that's important if you want to bring the sequence twenty four things into Arter to record is that sequence twenty four is driving the synthesizer instances and the drum machine, but it's the uh, synthesizer and the drum machine themselves that are going to come into Arter. So if you look here, I've got a, a track I made, right? You remember from last time, right click. Uh, for the drum machine, I've got one for the synth bass and one for the synth strings. Uh, there will be one for each instance that's going on. So if you remember in synth strings, for example, we had uh, three or four patches, and they're all going to come out of that synthesizer instance, and so they're all going to come into this as one. So uh, first thing uh, we'd, we'd like to do is we'd like to look at Jack. And, and this looks horribly, horribly complicated, but it's not. Let's just start with hydrogen. The output of hydrogen is going to the drum audio in, in Arter. Output of the right side, drum audio in. Same thing if we look at uh, AM synth. You can come down here and notice that it's going into synth strings. Same here, synth strings. You notice the connection. Same thing here with my bass instance, my synth bass and audio in. Uh, so while this looks, you know, pretty in, pretty intimidating, pretty convoluted, if you just stick to the basics, keep your principles going, uh, you know what's going on. AM synth. I want that out into synth bass audio in the right out in, into the same thing. Their stereo tracks, same thing down here. Uh, this instance going into synth strings. Did I say synth synth bass? Whatever the hell. Uh, anyway, that's that's the concept here. Hydrogen uh, again. Hydrogen out into drums in, and that that should be pretty pretty clear uh, remember just highlight both sides and uh, connect uh, theoretically you've done that many many times by now another place to double check is in window audio connections and you can come down here and you can say Arter tracks and you can see exactly what's coming in I've got hydrogen output on the left coming into drum in on the left and you'll notice all the way down uh, that should be pretty clean and, and if it's if it's wrong for some reason you can change it here and i believe that will also change it back in jack these uh arter and jack are pretty tightly coupled so now uh to to play to record this i arm all three of these tracks with recording i arm that with recording and i find my seek 24 and I made up a little song, and we will play this song. So we'll first we'll hit uh, start the recording, play the song. And as you can see, it's it's recording of various tracks doing their various things. It's it's pretty much that simple. We'll stop that, and now we have uh, those tracks. Uh, 
And that, that truly, that truly is all there is to it. We hook up the connections, hook them up to the various tracks. Uh, it doesn't really make any difference here if I was playing them uh, as you saw in a song mode, or I could be back on the other side uh, improvising and clicking the tracks like we do. Uh, and that would be all there is to it. Now, now we have done that. We can uh, back up, and as you can see, We have those, and I'm going to save this because next time we're going to look at uh, Ardor and some automation, panning from side to side, uh, some volume automation, uh, and so I'll, I'll save this a little bit, but uh, this, is, this is a pretty short session. It's mainly just watch your connections in Jack, uh, bring up uh, window connections in, in Ardor, and and play your song remember it's sequence 24 drives the instances of the of the synthesizers and the drum machine but it doesn't seek 24 itself doesn't come into ardor it's those instances have to be brought into ardor uh individually uh, that's all there is to it i hope this was uh clear if not leave me some questions Okay, that ends this week. I hope you learned something. Uh, as always, here's the versions I'm using. If your stuff doesn't act like my stuff, then check here first. And after that, jump onto these websites. Check out what's going on. Uh, very gracious people, very generous people that have put up this software uh, just for you to use absolutely free. And it's fun stuff. It's, it's cool stuff. And I hope that you'll check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you next time and uh, have a ball.